Hey friends, let me talk to you about my favorite mechanical keyboard. I have few in my collection, but my favorite one is this one, IQNX F96 keyboard. And let's take a closer look at this and compare with my previous review leaders, Kcron, K6 and Xbox. So, but let me mention shortly why mechanical keyboards are great and are they <laughs> at all. Sure, you can do exactly the same work with cheapest possible keyboard and no need to spend just extra money to get some kind of premium keyboard, but we are spending so many time in front of your computers and why do not make this place comfortable. With mechanical keyboards you can change everything, key cups, keys and even build your own keyboard from scratch and that is beauty of mechanical keyboards. So let me start with short explaining why those two are not on my desk anymore. Uh, hopefully short, I'm speaking a lot. Well, I'm keeping Xbox around in case if I will get into RSI problems again. As you may see, it has a very specific key layout and helping to save hands during long working hours. Great keyboard, but without Bluetooth support and that is big con for me. Kcron supports up to three Bluetooth devices, the same like IQNIC. It looks nice, but I found that I was wrong when I was assuming that I will be able to live without top F key line. I'm not using F key row too often and I even do not mind to have touch bar on my MacBook Pro, but I am missing the dedicated tilde key. On Keychron it is mixed with SK key and even after many months of using this as my main keyboard, it didn't become more handy. Also this keyboard light switching key was on my way. I hit that too many times trying to hit backspace button. It is somehow feels wrong. Small nice keyboard, light, but uh, wasn't perfect for me. Stop, stop. <laughs> Disclaimer, Iconic keyboard was sent for me for free, but I wasn't even asked to record the video or create post about it on Instagram, so that changed nothing. Maybe I'm just a bit more relaxed about price on it. All those keyboards are great, cons are very subjective and that is the reason why we have so many different mechanical keyboards and configurations because different people, different needs. Quite often keyboard is selected taking into account type feeling and sound, that is very subjective point, so. About sound, in all three keyboards I used brown switches. In my opinion, it is nice balance between most tactile and loud blue keys and silent and light to press red, red keys. So with browns I still have nice sound and feeling when type, but also I can type in nights, <laughs> like now without uh, waking up all the family. F96 have all the keys like full size keyboard, but it is made more compact. You still have your numpad and full function key row, but have it in more compact size. It feels about right size for me. Mouse is close enough to keyboard and with full size keyboard, mouse was always too far away. For those who like small and compact size keyboard and still have this numpad, this is a really great option. Iconic have a multiple different color schemes on their website and a lot of them are looking really, really, really great. I like almost all of them, but I choose Coral C layout. It fits the best, I think, colors in my office. And also I am kind of in navy blue all around devices. I have this navy blue iPhone, I have navy blue watch, and this is also kind of blue. So I really like how iconic paying attention to the details and even aluminum base is in the same color scheme as K-Cups, so that's really nice touch. 
I like the font choice, clearly visible, nicely looking and if you will look for example on cup lock shift button on the left side it is aligned to the left, on the right side aligned to the right. So many small nice details and all of those together make me feeling that this keyboard is really nice and quality even from pictures on the website and it feels so in real life of course as well. So build quality is great, it is heavy as tank it, and built on top of aluminium body, feels strong and durable. I guess that big part of this um, weight is battery, it works from battery quite long time, much longer than this one, Keychron and um, it is about, let's say about five days if uh, RGB backlight is enabled and uh, without backlight, I don't know forever. Backlight usually is one which takes a lot of energy. Keyboard has fixed 6 degrees angle and it was a bit surprising that you can't change the angle for keyboard but it works nicely for my typing style so not a problem for me personally. Height of the keyboard is just perfect. For example Keychron is higher. It was already too high for me and I had to use palm rest for Keychron for more comfortable typing. On iQnic it feels just perfect for me. Uh, but again, that's really subjective. You can use it connected using provided USB-C cable but also that supports Bluetooth connection and I am switching between my desktop, MacBook Pro and iPad. This option is very important for me and that is what I am missing in this Xbox keyboard. Otherwise, a really nice keyboard as well. There are many who don't like RGB lighting for keyboard but I'm not one of them. There are quite a lot of different color schemes. You can switch between different colors, different working options and switching happens using shortcuts on the keyboard, you don't need any special application. And for those who don't like that RGB you can just switch to the white color or disable backlight if it is not needed. Keyboard is very nicely packed with accessories, so USB-C cable for wired connection, also Bluetooth dongle was provided, you can connect that to at the end of the USB cable. For example, if your uh, desktop is under the table and you have bad Bluetooth connection and the really nice touch there is even cleaning brush for the keyboard. From cons, I would say that uh, there wasn't Mac uh, keys provided, keyboard supports Mac and Windows configuration. You can switch between using shortcuts. I switched Alt and Win keys on the keyboard just to match layout on the Mac, but yeah, of course, I would be happy to have Command key instead of Windows key. So that's slight con. <laughs> One more kind of con, I don't know, price. That's not a real con but I'm sure someone will say in the comments that it is way too expensive for keyboard. Yes, that is not cheap price. Price for the keyboard starts from $200 and if you will add Bluetooth and RGB so that will be around $250 but in mechanical keyboard world, <laughs> sky is the limit and this is not the most expensive keyboard that you can buy and as programmer I'm using keyboard all day long, all day, every day and basically that is how I am earning money. So if uh, headphones are important and you are paying quite a lot of money for headphones, why do not invest in good keyboard as well? Why this is my favorite keyboard and mine points here. Design is really nice. I care how my workspace is looking and I like how this keyboard looking in my workspace. I really really like the look of this keyboard. Feeling when you are typing also really really good kind of <laughs> premium feeling when you're typing. So if you like this video <laughs> and like this keyboard, hit the like button. If you have any questions additional, feel free to ask. I'm trying to answer all the questions that I find, what I'm finding in comments. So let's make some discussion. Is it crazy expensive? Is it okay for keyboards? Okay guys, thank you for watching. 
hit the like button. See you on next video. Bye.